Okay, now I've reached my tie-in point, but want to move it a little higher. So I can uh, fish this all through. But I'm going to use my removable redirect, which we've uh, used in the industry for a while. Now I've built mine out of a piece of Tech 12 splice with two eyes. I made the eyes big enough to fit a revolver, a revolver through here. But I've got a revolver in the one end and a D-shaped beaner with a rated pulley on the other. So I'll simply climb a little higher and install this in line. If I do it the right way, or I guess either way works, but if I do it the easiest way, I'll be able to just untie the other end of my line, or whichever end is shorter, and remove the whole thing from the ground. So at this point, let's just move up a little bit. I'm going to move about four or five feet up for the purpose of the video here today. Up we go. Starting to get above my tie-in, so I'll go ahead and put a lanyard in. I'm going to stick it around a couple of opposing branches. And clip in here. And that's going to keep me really secure on this conifer. So the two opposing branches keep it on the trunk. Well, let's go for this tie-in right there. So now I'm still connected to my static line. Just put it over. So now I just pull up some, pull up some slack. Go into the revolver here. see where I'm going with this. We're pulling in line. There we go. Now we've got a pretty good way to manage some friction as well. And now I'm set into my single line. Now I still have to have a way to work on this. So in the next video I'll set it up with uh, another simple way that I can work single line with all the basic equipment that we'd have for doubled rope system in the first place.